Now, the last time we talked about Mr. Logan Paul, he was holding his two fingers together, fingers crossed, wishing and hoping that other people will not find out about his alleged other shady shit that he's been doing. But unfortunately, his bestie one day was sitting in the toilet, Coffeezilla. Mr. Coffeezilla had one too many coffees, and a thick one just dropped while he was taking a big, fat, juicy shit. And with the bloop in the toilet, a bloop idea came to his mind as well. Wait, what happened to liquid marketplace where local poll advertised from that i co-founded called liquid marketplace it allows co-ownership of top tier assets so instead of one person me owning this card we as a collective can co-own it together where you buy percentages of valuable items like that five million dollar pokemon card that Logan Paul, Paul bought like a few years ago. As it turned out, the head guy of that project was taking people's money and spending it on his lifestyle, getting massages, spas, and living a luxury life. Ryan Bahadori, the guy I tried to speak to, was accused of, quote, making hidden payments to shell corporations without any legitimate business purpose, as were two other of the founders. And Ryan was accused of, quote, using company credit cards to buy high-end fashion, expensive jewelry, and watches, personal health and luxury spa services. And on 19th of June, 2024, the Canadian government decided to start a full investigation on the whole liquid marketplace. And that is when Coffeezilla reached out to Logan Paul, asked him multiple questions and wanted to get his statement first before he starts talking about the whole situation. And less than 24 hours, Mr. Coffeezilla was slapped with this lawsuit, which says, be quiet, you donkey. You can see I gave him 24 hours to respond on June 26th, at 2.03 p.m. And I was promptly sued June 27th at 11.28 a.m. You hurt my feelings by the words you say. Logan Paul said that Coffeezilla is ruining my image. I've worked so hard to maintain my image to a very good high standard. I've never did anything to ruin it. And Coffeezilla is now ruining my career and image in front of millions of me. <laughs> I can't even get through the whole sentence without smiling. After Logan smacked Coffeezilla with a lawsuit, which is very obvious the reason why he's trying to silence him with money and power, Logan was still punching walls because Coffeezilla exposed him either way and he's going to keep on exposing him and it just ruined his image even more. And in my language, there is a saying, which means like, do not dig a hole to put someone else in. It will be you first, you don't key and with that said logan's karma came up behind him just like deadpool on johnny on the F fantastic four thinking that he's captain america came up behind him and hugged him on his waist and whispered in his ears 68 million dollar lawsuits logan paul prime hydration has been hit with strings of lawsuits so it's not only one there's multiple of them the beverage company was sued this month by a bottler refresco refresco is the ones they partnered up together where refresco will be the the ones making the bottle and the drink and ksi logo paul prime energy will be the one selling it selling the brand which is accused prime of cutting off its contract and failing to place minimum order requirements or order any bottles at all once sales tanked the complaint says that the defendant represented to refresco that the sale volume would remain robust or continue to grow over the course of the year following the, that contract signing however the formerly hot sale of prime sport drinks cooled markedly refresco said that prime committed to ordering at least 18.5 million cases or 222 million bottles annually over three years or a total of 55 million cases over three years in exchange refresco invested in a custom line to build exclusively serve prime refresco accused prime of failing to order the minimum required during the first year of the contract it says prime failed to order any supply from the new production line thus incurring a penalty payment and prime still hasn't responded to the suit even though it's been 11 days since the lawsuit was filed and the complaint claims that prime owes refresco nearly 68 million dollars now when prime was launched in 2020 it was a sacred thing it was so special that anyone if you show up in school with a prime bottle you were part of the cool kids you were like the og elite side of the people in school a lot of people took advantage of the situation as well setting the bottle when it first came out for like 10 15 dollars here it was being sold in the uae for like 15 dollars per bottle not even a case per bottle but as it went forward and forward prime started to just fall down like in 2024 like before even in the us i believe it was like 
what three dollars four dollars a bottle maybe two i'm not pretty sure but now it is as low as one dollars in stores and everyone's just trying to sell it because no one is buying it the hype is dead and since refresco decided to only go exclusively with prime with the three-year contract with fucking hundreds of millions of dollars and prime needs to order a minimum of 222 million bottles every single year if you fail below it you will have to pay a fine but since no one's buying prime from supermarket malls whatever the stocks are full so they're not ordering prime and prime is not telling you know buying from refresco more prime bottles and that falls under the contract which is a uh, fine and according to refresco the damages are 68 million dollars to be more specific 67.7 million dollars and they're gonna go forward with this lawsuit obviously they had meetings behind closed doors but i guess logan paul ghosted refresco just like he ghosted all his fans and he's just not going to respond to it and none of the partners are since prime still hasn't made a statement about this whole lawsuit and Prime is not only having one lawsuit, currently they're going under eight different lawsuits. The lawsuits range from accusations of breach contract to class action suits that accuse Prime of mislabeling the amount of caffeine in its energy drink. In 2023, Elizabeth Casilla, we talked about this, a California resident filed a class lawsuit claiming that the Prime contained F. PFAs, known as forever chemicals, that can cause health problems. A global pandemic happened all over social media, people shitting themselves because they had one sip of Prime and now they're thinking that the forever chemicals is never leaving their bodies no matter how many peas or shits they take and it is going to cause them health problems. I told everyone to calm your tits, it's not that big of a deal and all these things are alleged and Logan Paul came out and he said that he debunked it in a way. I believe his PR made him a response video, but it is still not clear if it is Forever Chemicals inside or not. But I believe there are more things that can kill you like fried food and that McDonald's that you eat every day. There are worse things. You don't, if you drink Prime and you do all this other shit like smoking and stuff, you don't have to worry about dying from Prime. Don't worry. The suit claims that Prime falsely advertised the product as hydration beverage containing health benefits and vitamins and others. So they basically said that it's so healthy. Come, come by Prime. Before your football classes, basketball sessions, masturbation sessions, before anything, drink Prime and you will be at your maximum performance. Basically, but I mean as something as sweet as prime it is very highly like what the fuck they put inside besides sugar It's so sweet. I like sweet things. I like prime, but it's not healthy <laughs> Just like the dilution of coca-cola diet will not make you fat and it is zero sugar My friend there is still sugar. There is still harm. There is more harm even It's just what it is, but this is just a branding on making you feel like you are in safe hands. You are in great performance. Healthy, healthy, prime, prime, healthy. There are more lawsuits like in 2023, it was filed by a woman who gave prime to her 10-year-old son and who claims the product was falsely labeled and marketed to kids as healthy. 100% Logan Paul was wrong in this situation for falsely advertising a healthy product, even though maybe he was told it was healthy, but I'm pretty sure he knows that that shit is not healthy and he doesn't even drink it. He takes one sip, puts it on the table, Guys, I just drank, I drink Prime every day because it's so healthy. You see this big muscles? It's not because of protein and steroids. This is from Prime. But at the same time, it is the woman's fault as well. If they give you a coffee and say, this coffee is healthy, give it to your eight-year-old son and you give it to your eight-year-old son and his heart starts pumping and God forbid he has a heart attack or something and you go and lawsuit the shit out of that company because you told me it was healthy but the coffee with my son like come on there are way more lawsuits as well but the one i wanted to talk about which is an important one is the u.s olympic and paralympics committee versus prime hydration the olympics committee alleged that the company used various olympic trademarks reserved for his beverage sponsored coca-cola the complaint which was filed last month says prime hydration used terms like team usa olympics olympian and going for gold on a packaging in a promotion of drink collaboration with kevin duran basically olympics biggest sponsor is coca-cola and they're very exclusive with it so they can only advertise you know this the theme of the olympics can only be on a coca-cola bottle but prime decided to come forward when they did a kevin Durant podcast I believe it was last month after that they released a bottle of prime hydration which labeled it as going for gold team usa gold olympics gold olympian the biggest gold and 
that is a thing of Olympics. And Coca-Cola was obviously mad about this. Long story short, they took full advantage of the Olympics trending thing this year. And they took full on advantage on promoting their own company without even letting uh, Olympics or Coca-Cola, without even giving a shit about that. And Olympics and Coca-Cola were obviously not happy about it. And this is when the lawsuits happened. The committee said that it's complained that its lawyers has contacted Prime Hydration asking to stop using the terminology but that product continued to ship with it. So they even tried to warn them to stop using this, but they just went with it, didn't give a shit, and ghosted Olympics and Coca-Cola just like they ghosted their victims. And Prime has until September 12th to file an initial response. It's a big uh, chunk of money that is going to go away from many people's pockets. And with that, God knows if Logan's promise to return $2 million, $3 million to a very small portion of the crypto zoo situation alleged stuff if you were promised your money back i guess you gotta wait a couple more years until logan recovers from this big damage that he's about to receive from all these lawsuits and i have no doubt logan's sitting in his big mansions saying why does bad things happen to good people i honestly don't know logan you're such a such a nice person honestly but anyways just thought i'll update you with this whole situation let me know your thoughts in the comments below take care of yourself like the video subscribe you know the rest i'll see you at the next one